Also, I think that we're going to widen and define the jawline. We're going to reduce the, the thinness of the face by adding volume in the mid face. And then finally, to create a better balance for the nose, we're going to add volume. Here, here, and here, with the entry point here. So to frame the face, mid face, jawline, chin, and nose. When attending to the mid face, we discussed this earlier, we have the malar fat pad. Behind the malar fat pad, we have the pre sigmatical space. Mm -hmm. If we inject into that, she will have a natural smile. She will have a natural augmentation. So to reach that, the easiest way is to go lateral, through the skin, mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. When does it same direction as I move with my cannula, right? I will then lift this up, gently find that pre space. Can you hold the hair net? Because I don't want that here. pre space. pre space. So once I reached it, like now, you can see it moves freely. No resistance, right? So when she will smile, the smile will move freely. It will not look strange or artificial. If we do more superficial. superficial injection, like here, smile, it will move with the filler, right? So the point is to go deeper. natural space so we will not have migration anteriorly laterally inferior or superior we talked about this earlier I don't know if you were here about making treatment plans for our patients right mm -hmm. so when we do fillers we have a building up phase we want to build up the result of course, it takes more visits, more syringes, more needles, more money. Now, we this patient has a wedding in one month, so mm -hmm. we have to hurry up, and we, that's the reason why we're going to do a lot today. Otherwise, we would have divided the different treatments, right? <laughs> so, once again, we lift it up. This is Perlane, yes. Small migration, you can see that? But it still doesn't move, right? So what we need to do, you see, now is fixate. Mm. And we create the smooth mid-face implant. One point five. Made a lot of difference for her, mm -hmm. right? So my suggestion is we will treat this side and this, and then we. Do that, okay? okay? Are we happy with that shape? Yes. Or do you need more? Enough. Enough. Very good. Okay. Uh,
نسيم المكان ده الله يخدم البيت So here we have two choices. Either we go really deep on the bone uh, on the other side, or we go subcutaneous. If we're subcutaneous, we need to have some tissue support. I mean, she's very, very thin, right? Mm -hmm. And we, do, we want visible result of the filler, but we don't want visible filler. That's two different things, right? That was zero point five. We're going to need one more. And I try to hold my syringe very gentle to find the right layers for injection, right? You feel that it's quite deep, right? Yeah. Anyway, it's a linear injection or a fanning, as we always do with micro cannulas, but I'm not thinking lines. I'm not mm -hmm. thinking fanning. I'm thinking creating a shape mm -hmm. that I want to have. Now you're doing the line? It's always linear with the micro cannula, but it's also a combination of depot techniques. So now I want to go up here, right? Mm -hmm. Either I have a new entry point here, or I will just push it up like that. Mm -hmm. So now I'm over here. You can see that gel coming there, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And suddenly we have created some shape there. Is there a need to leave this area in between? No, this area is very small support. So yeah. if we want to create the shape to the face, a feminine shape, we want to avoid injecting too much here. Of course, some patients they have yeah, hollowness yeah. here. Yeah. And then we can add a little bit, but there's open your mouth. There is no support here, so we have to be gentle. The point here is to create a better bone structure. So we add volume here, here, and the next step would be the chin, and then the nose. For chin, we have basically two techniques. One is perpendicular. The other one is going from a lateral approach inside. Perpendicular, we cannot really control the level of injection. The injection will end up in the submuscular space, in, into the muscle, but also subcutaneously. And if I feel this chin is really, really tight, so there's a limit to how much volume I can put in there by perpendicular technique. If I want to add more projection without having visible filler, because we don't want to have that, then I have to have a lateral approach and I can go subperiosteally because in the subperiosteal space the gel will be contained and it will not be visible but the result will be visible, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to combine the both, mm -hmm. right? First we will start with the perpendicular. So we find the midline. Is the lightning good, Ahmed? Yes, good. Okay. So I'm resting on bone. painful in the beginning but the, the purline will numb it immediately. Maybe I'm on bone, I'm resting on the bone. You 
can already see that it's you know, it's still contained. It's not subcutaneous yet. Mm -hmm. It's a very small, tight chin. So we have to do the combinational treatment. Mm -hmm. You can feel that it's... So the next time, could I have a big horse, please? Is to create a better shape for this. And this is what I call the Korean technique. I picked it up in Korea. So what we do is we use a ghost to create a nice, smooth, pointy shape of the filler, right? Relax. She's putting tension to her mentalis, but you see, now we have a nice projection. But in my opinion, she needs more. Yes, she needs so. more. more bringing it in. So now we're going to have the anterior, uh, the lateral approach, right? Mm -hmm. Then we will turn your head. We could use the same entry point, but that entry point is that direction. So if we're going to use that, I have to go in and then turn like that. So instead, I'm just going to make another one. So here we also have different layers of injection. If I'm subcutaneous, I'm above the DAO, right? Mm -hmm. Then we could go deeper. Let me show you. Like that. Mm -hmm. So now I'm behind mm -hmm. the DAO. If you look now carefully when I retract, you saw that snap? Mm -hmm. You saw the difference? Now mm -hmm. I'm above DAO. One more time. Underneath, 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 underneath. Snap and above. Right? Um. Above. So what we want to do is we want to have support, of course. So I go deep. I'm now on the bone. And if Doctor, you want to feel this, you can feel that it's subperiosteal over mm -hmm. here. You feel that? Mm -hmm. Here. Just as we did with the tear thrust mm -hmm. previously. Mm -hmm. And I'm now okay. also including the lateral part, right? Having support of the full chin. Of course, we need to do that on the other side as well, right? So now the projection is getting there. We need to fix the nose. Yeah. No. Finish the nose, uh, chin, and then we'll do the nose. Entry point. Reach that deep layer. So here she has not been injected, so it's much more painful until I started the first injection. assure myself to be deep. Uh, 
I'm gonna need a big ghost. Perfect. So what we created now on a Saudi bride to bride to be mm -hmm. is a Korean chin by a Swedish doctor. <laughs> Very beautiful, mashallah. Okay, next step would be the nose. Okay, so entry point for the nose will have just in the tip. Because from here I can reach down here and I can reach all the way up. Right. Don't go too deep. This is Perlane and it's 25. I had one to have, it was can you know, but I, it was for, 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 for uh, one, only one try was can you know. Yeah, so for it's nose. very, very gentle. Mm. So there is resistance. It's a little bit resistance and you find the fatter deep layer and there is less resistance. So now I'm on the bone. I need to go behind the muscle. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit painful, so I raise, I push it down because this is a safe area but it also gives support of the filler because I don't want the filler to be moving around, right? You can see that it doesn't move. Giving support in that upper part, a little bit more to straighten out that torso. And then we will continue. And my markings, we know that she needs more projection here, right? We need to try to push up that tip to create more of a ski slope dorsal. Okay. But we cannot do that only from here. We need to go down here also. So now open your mouth, breathe through your mouth. So I go back. Open your mouth. And then all the way oh. down to the bone. So now we are resting on bone, mm -hmm. on the spina mm -hmm. of the columella. Number. Could I have another mic camera? Anyone? Old one? Old one? Just to. Anyone? Just give me a mic camera. Once again, we need to understand where we are located. And you can see how deep we are. Mm -hmm. Right? So we're basically we're on the bone, right? Mm -hmm. And this will give support and push up the tip of the nose. I will also inject in the septa, which will open up that nasolabial angle. Some cream? So, almost, almost. I'm gonna need a small touch up. So it was one entry. Change the proportions of the nose 
There's only one way to make a nose smaller, you know how? Is to make the chin bigger. But then we can also change those proportions. Yes, it looks good. The combination of the volume here, here and behind pushed that sad nose up. We had a volume here. This is her own. I think I would like to add a little bit more up there. Just to make it now you're allowed to open your eyes because you will feel nothing. Mm. It's a promise. Okay. It's very important to have that deep injection. All the way down to that bone, create some structure. That's it. Using some cream, create a perfect shape. So now we've done nose, we've done cheek, we did jawline, we did chin on her right side. So let's please set her up and try to have an evaluation. Magic. Let's add the volume here, we change the proportions of the nose and the face.